Hello, my name is Margaret Clooney. I'm an actor and I am thrilled to have been asked to get to read one of the Right Here, Right Now creative writing projects with the Polka Theatre. Congratulations to all of you. There are some incredible stories and I can't believe I get to read The Way of the Rainbow by Vivi and Leia from the Ashmole Primary School. So, I hope you're all sitting comfortably because I'm about to begin. <clears throat> from behind a rock, a goat appeared. What are you shouting? And where are you going? said the goat. Mingo started to sob. It was such a relief to see someone on his crazy, lonely journey. Bingo told the kindly goat the whole story. And then the goat said, well, hop on my pony back. I will take you to the top and then I will wait for you until the sun comes out. If you believe it will come out, then it will come out. Bingo hopped on the goat's back and together they ascended the mountain and when they got to the top, the view was spectacular. Little villages, clusters of woodland streams that gushed. Bingo took out his picnic and shared it with the goat, who was very hungry after his steep climb. Bingo smirked as he watched his friend eat the Marmite sandwich. As he could tell, the goat wasn't sure about the strange yeasty flavour. They sat together on a rock and Bingo leaned his head into the neck of his new friend. It was still raining and there was a light wind which made the bells around the goat's neck jingle and jangle and chime. It sent Bingo off into a light sleep. He awoke with a start, feeling a hot beam of sun on his leg. The sun was out and as he stood up, he saw it. The most majestic rainbow that seemed to swerve over him like a gateway to another world. There you go, said the goat. Go and relive your memories of grandma. And as he stood up, he was lifted into the sky and landed in the first colour, red. In the red stripe of the rainbow, he saw grandma sitting on the edge of his bed in the wind and the willows. Oh, it was so lovely to hear her kindly voice again and see her twinkling smile. Hearing her laugh was like feeling beams of sun inside your blood. In the blue stripe of the rainbow, he sat with grandma at the wooden kitchen table, eating her famous chicken with seasoning and apple pie. On the green stripe of the rainbow, he played all the games with grandma that they loved together. They played avocado smash and connect four and then grandma tickled him all over the place and made him giggle crazily. In the blue stripe of the rainbow, grandma sang him his favorite song, which was called the tree song. It was a song she had made up about a funny tree that made fart noises. In the pink stripe of the rainbow, Grandma told him knock-knock jokes and had him in stitches. In the purple stripe of the rainbow, he knew he had to return home. He stood with Grandma, feeling filled up with love. His memories had been boosted and rejuvenated. But he was so sad because he knew he had to leave her again for another year. Before I go, he said, I have to tell you that Everyone misses you so much, Grandma, and everyone sends their love. She smiled her sweet, wrinkly smile, and she said, I will always be here, inside your memories, forever and ever and ever. And at that moment, he felt his feet being lifted up into the air through the purple haze of the purple stripe and away from the rainbow. Flying through the sky was an unusual experience. And before long, he found himself back on the goat's bony back. To be continued. Oh, that is such a beautiful story. I love the characters. I love that Bingo gets to see his grandma again and have the most wonderful time with her. Congratulations, Vivi and Leia. Incredible stuff. And well done to everyone on the Right Here, Right Now project. 
I hope you keep writing beautiful stories and sharing them all with everyone. And thank you so much for having me.